Hello children, in this video we are going to do session 8 of unit 4, Web Applications and Security. Internet Security Internet security is a branch of computer security specifically related to the internet often involving browser security but also network security. Its objective is to establish rules and measures to use against attacks over the internet. So, internet security is the branch of computer security where we take various measures, we take various alternatives to make our internet secure, to make our transaction secure and to make the web browser secure, right? Here, though internet provides valuable information and entertainment, it may leave your computer unsecure due to many online trades. You need to ensure that your usernames, password, credit cards or online banking information secure as they are prone to be tracked and used by unauthorized users. Some websites can also install malware on the computer without user's consent, thereby leaving the computer damaged or insecure. We know that in, in today's date, internet is the most needed requirement of everybody's life, right? So, internet provides valuable information and we also get entertainment from internet, right? Okay, but there are some trades which are related to the internet. Okay, we used to do transactions with the help of the internet. So here we have the trade of theft of our personal data on the internet. Right, okay. Some websites can also install malware. Some websites are here which also install malware, malicious software on our system, and that malicious software can can steal our important data and then can provide that data to unknown people. Right? You can reduce the risk by using best practice practices such as using antivirus software, anti-spyware. So in order to make your system secure, what you should do, you should use the antivirus software which will protect your system from different kinds of viruses, from different kinds of malwares and anti-spyware and different kinds of spywares, right, which spy your system. Now we have the best practices for security. So what are the different practices that we can use for the security of our network, for the security of our system? Use strong password, a combination of alphanumeric and special characters could be used for creating a password that is not so easy to crack or guessed by others. Right. So it is always suggested that your password should be strong. It, it is the combination of alphanumeric. Alphanumeric means it should be the combination of alphabets and numbers. And you should also insert the special characters in your password. So it should not be guessed by anybody. Change your password frequently at least two or three weeks so that your account information remains secure. Always try to change your password within two or three weeks so that your account information remains secure. Secure. Using strong password can lower the risk of a security breach. Effectiveness of a password depends on the security mechanism of the software and the user involvement in generating a strong password. So, the strong password will secure your accounts on the internet. Fine. Then we have following is the general guidelines for managing the strong password. What are the different alternatives that we can apply to make our password strong? Keep the length of the password at least 12 to 14 characters, right? Avoid keeping password based on the repetition, dictionary words, letters or numbers, sequences, usernames, natives or pet names. So your password should not be common and it should not be repeated. Including numbers and symbols in password if allowed and your password should contain the alphabets as well as numbers and the symbols. Use capital and the lowercase letters. Try to insert both 
case of letters, both the L, uh, capital and the lower case of letters in your password. Avoid using the same password for multiple sites or purpose. Don't use the same password for different IDs, right? And for multiple sites, avoid using something that the public or the workmate know you strongly like or dislike. So don't uh, uh, make that particular word your password that is known to everybody. Use random password generators if possible. Okay, you can also uh, you can uh, take help of random password generators, right? Which create the random passwords. You may also use websites such as www strongpasswordgenerator.com if you're not able to create a strong password you can take help from the website that is www.strongpasswordgenerator.com okay so this is how you can uh, you should uh, the, so the first alternative is your password should be strong Second is use encryption software usually available within the operating system to protect your data from unauthorized users. If encryption software is not available within the operating system, use a third party software. So encryption software is the use of encryption software. It encrypt your data. It it's Encrypt means it makes your data in a coded form. When your data travels, it uh, travels in a coded form, in a different language, in a code language, which is not uh, so, uh, uh, supposed to be um, identified by the unauthorized users, right? So by default, the, uh, the operating systems uh, contains the encryption software. If encryption software is not there, you, you can buy uh, third party software and you can install it in your system right so the first thing is you should keep the strong you should have the strong passwords for your webs for your sites for your accounts on the internet second you should use the encryption software keeping your username password private never save your username or password on the computer that are used in shared environments such as internet cafes so never save your username and password in the shared environment here we have the example of internet cafe browser may save your personal data on the local computer that can be used by another user using the same computer if you will save your data if you will uh, save your username and password on the shared computer it can be used by some other person and that person can steal your personal information Registering with the website, read the privacy statement or policy whenever you register with the website. The statement or the policy will include information about how the website uses personal data. Most of the times when you register with any website, you have to sign the registration policy and you should read that policy because most of the time it asks for your personal data. Do not share personal information. Websites require you to fill out forms containing the fields such as name, gender, age, email address, school, etc. Be cautious when filling out such forms. Research and verify it. If it's a trustable website, your email address could be used by unauthorized users to send you fake or unwanted emails. Think twice or thrice before providing information to any website and decide if it, if it is really necessary. So always provide your personal information only on the legitimate websites, on the secure websites. Never provide your personal information on the fake websites. Then we have secure transaction. If you are using online shopping or the transaction websites, even store your credit card or online banking personal information such as, such as your credit card number, account details, etc. This information can be traded and used by an unauthorized user, often known as hackers, to misuse this information. Again, ensure the website is legitimate and use secure practice for performing and maintaining online transactions. So whenever you are doing the online transaction, never save your credit card, your debit card information on the website because it can be tracked by the unauthorized users, unauthorized people. 
it is always recommended to use only secure websites for such transaction verify if the website uses secure transaction usually it is indicated to a digital certificate represented as a golden lock in the web browsers at its bar so if you want to check the uh, legitimate uh, whether the uh, whether the website is leg legitimate or not you can check for the golden lock which is present in the address bar of the website then we have use of antivirus and anti spyware softwares computers are prone to attacks from the software known as malware that could harm your computer malware track browsing behavior or transmit personal data from your computer programs such as key loggers could be installed on your computer track and transmit every key that is pressed on a keyboard to unauthorized users so we always we should always use antivirus and anti spyware software because uh, there are number of malwares which are available on the network which when they attack to your system they steal your personal data and then transfer your personal data to the unauthorized users we there are also pro uh, uh, certain programs called key loggers which always track your what um, the keys which are pressed by you and they decode your uh, data and then transmit it to the unauthorized users right okay then antivirus and anti spyware programs also offer real time protection mon monitoring your computer for any changes by mal malware software so antivirus and anti spyware programs protect your system and if any malware try to do any change in the system they try to stop it or they also inform it you about that keep your antivirus and anti spyware software always up to date this can help in protecting your computer from recent threats so always uh, update your antivirus and anti spyware software so that they can deal with the newly updated or newly formed viruses and the malwares then we have do not immediately respond to the mails from unknown users it may be a fake mail trying to gather personal information such as such as your bank account details home address etc some mails could promise you jobs or announce lottery result which is in which in turn could compromise the user so we used to get number of mails from unknown users and they are very tempting mails like uh, you have uh, won uh, uh, that much amount you have won that right so never respond to these mails never open these mails because these are fake mails clear browser cookies frequently so we cookies are programs that are created on your local computer when you visit website so whenever we visit any website the information related to the website is stored on our system in the form of cookies the cookies are meant for storing data based on your activity performed during your earlier visit such as login details details of our shopping cart visited pages in a website etc they could also be tracked by unauthorized user and possibly gain access to your personal information although cookies are not dangerous for us but these cookies can be tracked by unauthorized users and they can get access of these cookies to get our personal information so always try to clear the cookies from your browser keep the operating system and the software application up to date though operating system and applications are designed tested and distributed sometimes they may have security holes through which a hacker can take as advantage so we always uh, keep trying to update our operating system and the softwares because uh, every day the new uh, threats are coming in the network in the online transaction network so in order to deal with the, these new threats the software should have the new features the operating system should have the new features install firewalls firewalls could be software or hardware and can assist in keeping a computer and a network secure so firewall is a security alternative which can be a software or the hardware firewall analyze the network traffic and determine if the traffic should be allowed or not so it behaves like a wall between your system and the outside network and it allows only that data to enter in your system which is authorized 
it stops all those websites which does not look legitimate which does not look authorized in most cases operating systems such as linux windows or mac include firewall software as a part of operating system thus keeping this the computer secure so now most of the operating systems are having inbuilt firewall to protect the system from the unauthorized access never install software from unknown user as they might not be trustworthy download only from well known or reputed website so we should always try to install software from the authorized websites from the legitimate websites remove unwanted or unknown software application sometimes what happens when we download any uh, application when we don't download any software from the internet some other application get installed on our system they are very dangerous because they can behave like the viruses which can uh, take which can steal our data and provide it on the internet so see these might have got installed on your key on without your knowledge when you have visited some websites unwanted software could be installed as they might have been bundled along with necessary software some programs such as toolbars get installed usually through bundled software and are programmed to send personal data without your consent so we always try to remove the unwanted or unknown software that get installed on our system without our permission Clearing data stored in the browser. Web browsers have built-in password management designed to store the password used in the form forms on websites. So most of the times, browser asks us to save our password on the browser. So never save your password on the browser because it can be tracked by the unauthorized users. Right. so this is all about the, we have the different security measures how you can make your system and how you can make your uh, network secure from the unauthorized access